spiritually, psychologically. And you end up doing and saying stuff that you don't mean to do and to say. And it's one of the reasons why we can't hear the voice of God because we're, we're freaking out, if I can say that. We're just, we're anxious because there's so many things going on. We're so, my husband might be cheating on me. My husband, either he is or he isn't, give God praise. There's nothing you can do about it right now. He might be in her bed. Whether he is or isn't, God is here. Don't ignore God while he's doing whatever he's right. That's right. Tell you. It'll take care of itself, trust me. Right. His sin right. will find him out, trust me. Right. Her sin will find her out. Right. Nobody gets away with anything. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So don't, unless you can do something about it that's legal, just, just <laughs> put it. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Put it in God's hands. Because yeah. in the end, you might be the one in jail and he goes away scot free because yeah. 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 you did something illegal. Amen. Amen. Don't be anxious. Sure. Good. <laughs> all that worry, all that doubt, all that fear. Bible says when the word is sowed in our lives like seeds, mm -hmm. there are those because of the cares of life yeah. or the worries of life, it chokes out the word of God. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. This is a good word today. Yes, it Don't is. let the devil choke it out. That's right. Yeah. That's Next good. verse, Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 to 34. I'll read through it quickly just to confirm. New Living Translation. So don't worry about these things. Move quickly, media team. Don't worry about these things, saying... What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. You see that? Mm -hmm. These things, that's why I use this translation, it's a good one for this. These things dominate. Mm -hmm. It's one thing for you to know about it, think about it, but don't let it dominate right. your thought that's life. Right. Dominates the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow brings its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. You see that? Deal with the matter at hand, and some of us, we're already stressing out over 20 years from now. We've already figured out what might go wrong, and we're living in fear of what might or might not happen. Amen? So we've got to do that. We've got to get rid of that trust in Him. Uh, earlier in that same chapter, verse 5 to 8, says this, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites yeah. who love to pray publicly mm -hmm. on street corners. Mm -hmm. Our Father and our God, we come before, you know what he's going to say every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Same thing, and the brother might be living like the devil, but you know that memorized prayer, amen? This is a public prayer on the corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. Here's what God says, I tell you the truth. That is all the reward they will ever get. Amen. The fact that everybody heard him. He says, but when you pray, go away by yourself. Mm -hmm. How do I hear from God? Go away by yourself. Yes. How do I know what God's saying? Turn off Bishop this and Bishop mm -hmm. that and TBN. Mm -hmm. and turn off all that stuff for a moment. That's turn right. off Pastor Doss for a moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn off Mama, Grandma and them for a moment. Because mm -hmm. take truth, everything didn't work out that way. That's right. Some of the advice they tell you just might not be good advice. That's right. Girl, here's what you need to do. Mama, you on your fifth marriage. Maybe I won't listen to that today. I love your cooking, but that's not amen. Let's, let's be real. Come on, let's be real. Can I still get an amen? Amen. Here's the thing. Do you want to repeat the mistakes of your family's past? No. Or do you want a new life that's where your right. children's children don't have to deal with the crap you had to that's do? That's right. Come on. It's all about God saves us. He's not just interested in saving us. Yes. He's saving your children's yeah. children. Yeah. So the latter house will be greater than the former house. And don't feel bad about what you went through. That's a testimony. That's right. That's your That's ministry right, right there. Right. Let me tell you something. Right. You think I can preach the way I preach because I ain't been through something? Let me tell you. Paul says he was the worst of sinners. Yeah. I'm sure I have him beat. <laughs> Because I know the love of God. Yes. I know the forgiveness of yes. God. I know the grace of God, not just in theology. That's right. It's worked through my life. Yes. I preach not just out of skill. I preach out of oh. conviction. Yes. Wow. So what you feel is the voice of someone who's not just telling you about his voice. That's it's right. someone who's heard his voice, yes. Yes. who's yes. lived his voice. I've been a Jonah. I've been a rebel. I've been an angel and I've been the devil. I've been through all those things. Wow. And I know his blood washes me. Yes. Yes. I'm saying, here's how strong 
strong you are. If the devil couldn't take you out with what he thought would take you out, how much stronger are you today? And with that testimony, how many folk can you deliver that I can't deliver? Whooping again, praise <laughs> God. Yeah. Yeah. Go away. Go away by yourself. Why you always gotta take Oprah with you? <laughs> Go away. Why you gotta take that spiritual leader? Mm -hmm. Ma, so and so, what you think about this? Mm -hmm. Go away by yourself. That's right. If not, you'll never know God for yourself. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. Come on, Jesus. Yeah, there's some folk who can preach well in, in church. Mm -hmm. When they get home, they'll have to understand. That's you know right. why? Because they don't, they don't know him. That's right. They don't have a relationship with God. Then your father who sees everything will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on as people of other religions do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. It's right there. Don't be like them. For your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. The last thing I'm going to share, I'm going to close right now. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. English Standard Version. But they who wait for the Lord, can't rush them, mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Getting along with God is the key. Some of us always want to be around people. And we haven't learned the value of sometimes being by ourselves. Yes. We want people to go with us. I'll give you two examples. God called Abraham. Abraham took people. Mm -hmm. He took Lot. Lot messed him up. Yeah. Yeah. God called Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses took Aaron. Mm -hmm. Aaron messed him up. That's right. God called you. Who are you taking that's messing you up? So we always want people to go with us, to be with us, to stand with us, to give us support and approval. Mm. Tell you something, if you're promoted by man, man can demote That's right, you. come on. If you feel you are who you are in God because somebody has to confirm no. that, the moment they say, well, I don't think you're the right spirit, you can deflate it. Come on. But the people who know their God yeah. for themselves yes. shall do exploits. You see, some of us are waiting for others to tell us what to do instead of getting into the practice and habit of seeking God diligently for ourselves. Why? For some of us, it's because we're lazy. We have fear or we were misinformed. Well, God can only speak through me, not alone. Priests in the box days are gone a long time ago. Why are we lazy? Because it's easier to get man to say something. It is. See, relying on others sometimes seems easier, but you set yourself up for disappointment yeah. because people are not perfect. That's right. Amen. That's right. They do let you down and they do make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's dangerous or unhealthy to have these kind of relationships. Yeah. Because giving one person too much authority or control over yes. your life is foolish yes. and potentially dangerous. They can use that authority to lead you astray, mm -hmm. intentionally or even unintentionally. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to Isaiah 40, 31 and close on this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that your strength is renewed because of what God is going to tell you. It doesn't okay. say your strength is renewed because you had an experience with him. That's good. That's good. That's good. The experience and hearing his voice is a moment. Amen. Yeah. It's something yeah. that happens. Yeah. But your strength is actually given to you when you have to wait for it. Yes. Oh, God, that's good. Oh, that's good. You see, my Bible tells me, get the other half in a minute for class. Listen. 
My, my Bible tells me this, that Jesus told his followers, not just the disciples, he told his followers to go to Jerusalem and to wait in Jerusalem for the coming of the Holy Spirit. And my Bible tells me, I don't have that number right now on my notes, I can get that to you. My Bible tells me there were a large number of people who went down to Jerusalem to receive the Holy Ghost. But the Bible says it was about 50 days later. When the Holy Ghost finally came, the Bible gives another number of 120, and that number was a whole lot less than the number who went to get the Holy Ghost. Than the number who went because God gave him a word. But see, the ones who had to wait, the Bible says, when they were in one place, put, put Acts up there if you can find it, and in one accord. One. Now, I always say, see, back then they didn't have deodorant. <laughs> I don't know what the toilets look like. I don't know what kind of toothpaste they had. I don't know whether they had running water or not. To be stuck in an upper room, second floor is always higher than first floor, yeah. for 50 days with some folk you might not like. Some were Samaritans, some were Jews, some were Greeks, some were, because all of them were followers of Christ. Yeah, yeah. And you're sitting there for about 50 days, I bet they started talking about, you know what? It's your fault Christ got killed. Mm. If you've been looking out, you know, wait a minute, you're from the same tribe of Judas. All y'all like that. Mm. Mm. What you doing up, you're not a real Jew, you a Samaritan. You woman at the well, you were probably trying to tempt Jesus while we was away. Wow. I mean, I, I know they had it all, but it was in that moment of going through all that, and then finally crying, and finally saying, God, where's the Holy Ghost? And finally coming into unity, and the moment when they had come to that place, let me tell you, we'll close this, that moment was so powerful, I believe if the Holy Ghost never even came, they still would have yes, had church. Because yes. something changes when you have to win. Yes, something yes, transforms yes. when you have to press through. When it doesn't go the way you want to. When oh. God doesn't show up the way you want to. And how he showed up for your cousin. How he showed up for your brother. And he's not doing the same oh. thing for you. You come to a place where you either have to trust him yes. or you're going to hate him. Yes. But in the middle of that, on waiting for him, on depending on him, yes. on pressing for him to do something, you don't even know this, but God is using this to do some calisthenics, to work out some stuff. And he still failed. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Jesus. Man, the reward is not just here with. What if God tell you what you don't want to hear? That's right. Half the time, that's how it ends up. That's right. That's right. But it's the process of waiting on Him, being alone with Him, pressing into His presence, not worrying about what others think. Yeah. Not worrying about what others say. Yeah. And that moment sometimes where it's full of grief, it's full of pain and heartache. That moment when you don't have all the answers, just when you're about to give up hope, all of a sudden, like a mighty rushing wind, the Bible says his voice will come forth. Man, Elijah was looking for him in church. Didn't find him there. Was looking for him at the conference. Didn't find him there. Was looking for him at the retreat. Didn't find him there. But the Bible says he came in a still. When the music is off, in a still. When you're not shop dancing, sitting down long enough to get your breath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a still moment, yeah. without distraction and without man-made interpretation, mm -hmm. God will speak to your heart the way that you need to hear him. And you will know God for yourself. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this journey. It's not just happening today, God. You're doing something powerful, awesome, and mighty in this church, through this ministry. And Lord, I thank you for those hearts that you've drawn to be here with us. God, you have really turned it on. My testimony is, Lord, I've been preaching since I was 16. And up until five or six months ago, I was like, Lord, I don't even have a fresh word. I don't have a new word, Lord God. Are you sure I'm the right one that you've called? But ever since we've come here to Johnson C. Smith, in the last two or three weeks, God, I have seen your anointing. God, these folk don't know these are sermons I've never preached before. This is fresh yes, manna. Yes. 
This is fresh word. It's fresh revelation. And I'm not bragging. What I'm saying, Lord, is you're blowing my mind too. Yes, God. God, you're taking me to another level. As we together make a commitment to walk through this journey, to be a part of this church and this ministry, there is a sound. There's a voice that is being raised up in Revived Church, God. It's not about the building we're in or how small we are, but you are brewing something. You've got something on the stove. It's cooking. It's smelling mighty good. And you want this to pour out into the city of Charlotte. Why? Because people need a yes. type of teaching that is not man-made. Yes. It's not religious. And it's not full of ridiculous doctrine. But it's the kind of teaching that transforms and changes lives. With all heads bowed and eyes closed, if you are here this morning and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, we want to give you an opportunity to simply say a small prayer to ask Him to come into your heart. If that's you right where you're seated, just put your hand up and say, Pastor Doss, that's me. I'm not saved or I'm not sure if my sins are forgiven. I want my life to be right with God. Just put your hand up where you're seated. And we're going to say a prayer for you right now. Anybody here? Don't miss this opportunity. Anybody here? Thank you, Jesus. Just put it up so I can see it. And we'll pray for you right where you're seated. Anybody here? Don't miss it. Don't miss it. This is not joining the church. I see your hand. Anybody else? This is just saying, Pastor Doss, that's me. I'm that person. I need Jesus Christ as my Savior. I want my sins to be forgiven. I see your hand. Yes. I want to make sure my name is written. I see your hand. Yes. Anybody else? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When, when God removes an established person from one city to another, the best thing to do is to respond. If that message is for you, if that voice is for you, if that word is for you, don't waste my time, don't waste yours. God is speaking to you right now. Anybody else, you might have been a member of the church all your life, but you've never been saved. You've never actually said, Lord, I want to give you my heart. Just raise your hand where you are. Anybody else, we're about to pray. The Spirit of God is heavy in this place. I see your hand. Anybody else? Don't miss it. Don't miss it. God is here. God is here. Anybody else? Hallelujah. All of you who lifted your hands and those of us who know Christ the Savior already, let's say this prayer together because it's a team effort to bring somebody to the kingdom. Amen? Some plant, some water. God brings forth the increase. We've got about four or five people today who want to make a commitment to Christ. Maybe you're here and you, you, you are saved, but you want to make a fresh commitment. Just raise your hand, and we'll say a prayer for everybody. I see your hands as well. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you today yes, Lord. for what you're doing in our lives and doing in this ministry. Yes, Lord. God, we just dedicate these lives to you. They don't belong to me. They don't belong to Revive Church. They belong to the Church of Jesus Christ. They belong to you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Repeat this prayer if you raise your hand. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me on the cross so many years ago. It was a gift. It was a sacrifice. I don't deserve it, but I gladly receive it. I need a new life. I need a new start. I need a new beginning. Transform my life. In Jesus' name, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. Pray. Amen. Somebody Amen. give God some praise. This time, before we open for membership, I'm going to do one more prayer. And I ask those of us that we would stand if we're struggling to have that quiet time alone with God. Can I be real with you? I believe that's why sometimes people end up in the hospital. Sometimes people end up being laid off. Sometimes people end up with their relationship not working. Why? Because when God was trying to get your attention, when God was trying to get your time, oh Lord, I would pray for this great job you gave me. I'm too busy doing that. Well, I would, but I'm just too busy. I'm, 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 if I only have more time by myself, God says, no problem, I can arrange that. And there you are laying in the bed for two or three weeks. Wouldn't it be better if we set aside the time? Yeah. So he doesn't have to take that time, amen? Right. But I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just having real talk. If you're here today and you say, Pastor Dosh, you know, that's me. I've been struggling to have this time alone with God. Something you said today really pierced my heart and spoke to me. I want you to stand to your feet and I'm going to pray for you if that's you today. You don't have to because everybody else is. Just if, if this is for you, God is speaking to you. The lights have come on. It's not about how spiritual or non-spiritual you are. 
But there, there were unsaved people in the Bible that God spoke to. In dreams, yeah, and yeah, visions, yeah, yeah. and audible voices. It's not about how spiritual you are. I think it's about how busy we are. Yeah. How caught up we are in everything else. God can't get through. And he's not going to fight his way through. If you want him, he's there for you. If you put up too many barriers, he'll just wait. But today we're saying, Lord, I want your help to apply these principles in my life. I understand it's not about the fanfare, it's not about the noise, it's not about the sound and the lights. We thank God for what he's doing in our church. Some of you are visiting, you might not think this is a big deal, but you weren't there when we first got started. Amen. For us, all of this is a big deal. We get excited about this. Amazing churches with all this stuff, but not because this is amazing, but because we know where we came from yeah. and how far God has brought us. But either way, it's not about this. All of us, myself included, can I be honest? I struggle to get time alone. I have five kids at home. But God is just reminding us if you want to hear my voice, you got to get on my channel. Yeah. Anybody got a CB radio? Okay, I know you do. If you want to hear his voice, you got to get on his channel. And his channel is you've got to get alone by yourself. You got to be by yourself, set aside some time to be alone with him, to give him that opportunity to speak to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I lift up all of all of us who are standing, God, myself included, in this.